boat will sink halfway to Miami. Hell of an office, Juan. Ah, my favorite girl. So many fun ways to fuck up soldados. Danny, back for more chaos, I see. Want me to make you the best Supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office, or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back.
Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Castillo was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Philip Barzaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Tara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich from a family of true yaran she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants, but she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor, from the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? You want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me.
company. Listen to Juan. You kill soldiers, Castillo's going to send his special forces after you. Know what makes them so special? They're specially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. Clara, who am I looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except family. Great. Don't worry, Philly can help you. He's your in. He's at his shop near the Martinez airstrip. Ah, nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Suerte, Danny. House, leave no Castillo behind. Coño, this guy has a serious hey. pest problem. I should take a look inside. So, this is Alvaro's place. No sign of Alvaro, or the Mongols. What was that? Sounds like it's coming from that shed. So you're trapped in the shed. I think it's time we met, Mongoose. Oye! Get back here!
Ezio's reign of terror is over. And thank you for the key. to be done with this place and mongooses. Nice bet. Hola, is this Yami? Found your number on a poster about racing. Oh, if you like racing, you call the right number. We do it guerrilla style. Each track is marked with checkpoint flares you gotta drive through. Try to beat the best time. You in? Fuck it. I'll try it. That's the racing spirit right there. I like you already. Suerte! You Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 no. No Philly here. Whoa, what's in your bag? Nowhere I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So? Why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad! Those are big names to throw around. <laughs> but I don't see Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. Okay. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. Sorry, so I warned you, warned! Philip Magic, baby. Want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, <sighs> our backbone. His family's going to save our land. Great. Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero. <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. Let's follow his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. Let's follow oh, man. She's a fiera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, dear. No. Well, then don't let the potion get you down. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking comedian. No room for a 
amigos in here. Danny, you know, the guerrilla you tried to blow up? Oh, the hero, que hola! What's this plantation look like? Uh, you know, uh, cigars, white suits, dinner parties, except with guns. Come on, big city hero. You're in the west now. It's a plantation. It's an old building with tobacco all around. Espala got her size on the lieutenant, so she's probably inside. Who is she after? I don't know. The Monteros play it quiet here. And you might actually want to try doing the same. Hey, Clara. Any contact with Carlos Montero yet? Not exactly. Apparently, I have to find his daughter first. We need the farmers behind us, and we're going to take the west. Heading there now. Call you once I've met Carlos. You'll be great, Danny. Carlos is going to love you. Sorry, official Libertad business. Hello. This espada is in fucking around.
Don't need no more soldiers here. The sword, they should call her the blade. What the fuck is happening up there? You don't want to use that name. We've executed people for much less. You're going to keep threatening me with death like. Stop! Please! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You, baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? <gasps> Please don't kill me. <gasps> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, oh, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's Jose's private island. Got what you need? No, but it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one by one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat. Right, Aki. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. Papo! We'll take the horses outside. Okay. Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced up. Is going to be on our ass.
clear. So much for quiet. Let's go. This way. Come on. Right behind you. Good, no? Okay, I think we lost them. See, we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Military Academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a mean mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew Jose is the real problem for us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon of Pequeño. Little Napoleon? Cute. The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for 200 years, and now he's turned it all into slave camps for that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Poison made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trust his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. Not like the others, Clara said. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. How far away is this camp of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no. It's okay. Getting some good cardio in. <laughs> now, guerrillera? The sword and the hero. Nice to see you two alive. Not all find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but lucky huh? for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is... I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, no fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 hey. Leave Chorizo out of this. <laughs> our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us. That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He 
likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Joris. Save it for the surf, buddy. Come on. C4? Not sure. That's why I'm calling you, Erast Van Doren. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the case. Hello? They drew first blood, not me. Who the hell is this? Don't push it. I'm hanging up Daddy, now, asshole. Wait, 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 wait. Just answer me this. You recognize oh, those lines? Sure. That's Rambo. First blood, right? Ha! I knew it. It's really you. Really who? <laughs> What do you want? I want what they want. Yeah. And every other guy who came over here and spilled his guts <laughs> and gave everything he had wants for our country to love us as much as we love it. What? does that even mean? You know, I don't... Actually, no. But anyway, just come meet me at my top secret base. I need your help. You can't say top secret and not tell me where it is. Okay, fine. Mentosa Peninsula. On the double. Clara, I made contact with the Monteros. How did it go? Well, Carlos wants nothing to do with me, but I get along with his daughter. I think she's my way in. You need to understand them. Become one of them. First step is understanding this camp. I'm going to have a look around. Okay, Danny. Take care of yourself.
I need your... See you at the boat. Go. Big boy.
We are taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can't swim. <laughs> nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once, south of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, is the day hell freezes over, Tammy. Coño. You Monteros are stubborn. Not me. Just Papa. <laughs> sure. Sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. 
It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See? That's how he got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. So Carlos doesn't have a plan? His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things, be agile, stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny.